Hi guys, it's still the 16th of January, 2018, and the day when we will hear Show Me Your Papers is coming to us soon. I want to thank my subscriber for sending along this article. Travelers from nine states will need passports for domestic flights in 2018. If you don't have a real ID because your state has issued you a fake ID, your state obviously is incompetent to provide a real ID. So the federal government in 2005 passed the Real ID Act and the Department of Homeland Security oversees the Real ID all of the requirements necessary to get a real ID. It has been trying very hard to coerce all states to comply with its requirements. We don't have a constitution anymore. Don't have that 10th amendment. Sorry states, you no longer, because you gave your all of your power away to the federal government. So you no longer have sovereign powers And that is the implications of that. Centralized power. Centralized power in the federal government. Well, that means tyranny will unfold. Oh, that's right. We're living tyranny. Forget it. It's already happened. But the Real ID Act, that will be the establishment of a national database, this national ID card. But these states, when it was first passed in 2005, I think there were 25 states that said they would not comply. Some states actually passed legislation to prohibit compliance. Some of the 25 that said that they would not comply actually requested extensions from the Department of Homeland Security, like South Carolina which meant that they would eventually comply. But the states that have not complied and they don't have the real ID, Kentucky, Maine, Minnesota, Missouri, Montana, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Washington, if you don't have that real ID, you better have a passport if you want to fly domestically. Um, those who visit airports starting January 22nd without acceptable identification will not be allowed through airport security. Some of the nine states are scrambling to update state IDs to meet compliance with their daddy government because the federal government, yeah, it's daddy. The states, hmm, well, you let the federal government usurp your power, so you're the children of federal government. You got to scramble to meet compliance. Any of you who are listening and you don't understand what I'm saying, then do some research about how your country was first established as a constitutional republic, giving the states their sovereign powers. Federal government was supposed to have limited, limited power. Well, that's gone. Um, but if you don't have a passport and don't have a real ID or don't want to get a real ID, then you better start ordering that passport. Here it says four to six weeks, according to the Department of State. But I've heard some people, it took about three months to get a passport. Um, so w what is this all about, the real ID? Yeah, the, the Department of Homeland Security says that it's secure driver's licenses and identification documents. Well, it's vital for a holistic national security strategy. Law enforcement must be able to rely on government issued identification documents and know that the bearer of such a document is who she, he or she claims to be. So clearly, states are just incompetent. They can't issue an ID that 
you can feel secure that the person is who they are. It's got to be the federal government. It's got to be the Department of Homeland Security. Yeah, because, well, <laughs> it's all about keeping you safe from terrorists. God, how Americans can believe this crap is really just outstanding. It's, I, I, I don't know what to make of Americans who believe government at this point. But what does that real ID look like? Let's check it out. Oh, here's a real ID. How can you tell? It's got a yellow star. A yellow star? A yellow star? What is that? Oh, uh, it's kind of, oh, let's see. It's pulling up some memory. Yellow star, Nazi Germany, Jews wearing yellow stars. <laughs> Do you think that they're putting it in our face? That we have become Nazi Germany? Do you think that they are putting in our face? This will be the papers that you will have to show whenever you are stopped for everything. Even though they claim, Department of Homeland Security claims the purposes of a real ID is for flying nationwide, to enter secure federal buildings, and to visit military installations. Oh. Okay. And they even say that it's voluntary. It's voluntary. You don't have to get a real ID if you have a passport to fly. Let's say from South Carolina to, oh, I don't know, Massachusetts. You'll have to have a passport now. Um, but your non-compliant real ID will actually say it's not for federal identification. All right, so if you don't have any uh, need to, let's say, go on to a nuclear power plant or a military installation or into these secure federal buildings, and if you don't fly, then you can just get your fake ID from your state Department of Motor Vehicles. It's voluntary. But you must have it, uh, the real ID, or other federally approved identification in the future for federal activities. Well, they claim that the federal activities is, you know, going on to a military installation or nuclear power plant or federal building or flying. Uh, you don't have to have it for driving, voting, applying for, or receiving federal benefits to enter a federal facility that does not require an ID, like post office, access a hospital, or receive life-saving services. Wow, good. <laughs> you know, if you're going to be receiving life-saving services, one would think that you wouldn't have to have a national ID, right? The real ID. Um, but also to participate in law enforcement proceedings or investigations. Okay. But who determines the purpose? Oh, Department of Homeland Security. So this is on the Federal Register, the Office of the Federal Register's website. This is the Department of Homeland Security's minimum standard requirements for driver's licenses. But here, the Department of Homeland Security states that the Act, the Real ID Act, provides that the term official purpose includes but is not limited to accessing federal facilities, boarding a plane, entering nuclear power plants, and any other purposes that the Secretary shall determine. Ah not limited to. So, once these nine states comply with the real ID, 
the Department of Homeland Security Secretary. It's at his or her discretion what the purpose will be. Will the purpose be to receive medical services, life-saving services, to receive or apply for federal benefits, to purchase firearms, whatever the Department of Homeland Security decides. So eventually everybody will have to get that real ID because they will be expanding the purpose of the real ID because they want to establish a national database with one card where that card will have a chip in it with biometric information which is your fingerprint and that national real ID the national database Every law enforcement officer, every state will have your information. Right now, state driver's licenses. Well, now I'm sure computers, you know, have allowed, you know, a, a database. If not national, then certainly many of the states have a database where law enforcement can access information immediately on other state residents, but when you have a national database that according to an awful lot of people who have who have stepped up and spoke about the dangers of the real ID easily hackable which means anybody who has the ability to hack will have all of your personal information because that chip in that card will contain all of your personal information. I will link below to this video Real ID in 2017 Citizens Council for Health Freedom. Uh, Minnesota has been fighting this Real ID but apparently I guess they're about to comply along with South Carolina um, but this woman, in seven minutes, she addresses an awful lot of the dangers. So please listen to and circulate this video. Um, what you will need to do in order to get a real ID is show up at your Department of uh, Motor Vehicle in the state, and you will have to prove your identity with a birth certificate or unexpired U.S. passport, social security card or W-2 with your number and name and employer's name, two proof, proofs of current address, um, unexpired license or ID, and no more than 90-day old utility bills and proof of all legal name changes to get this real ID. You cannot, you cannot bring to your Department of Motor Vehicle, it doesn't matter if it's South Carolina or where it is, because all of the requirements are standard. You cannot bring copies, scan, fax, anything. It all has to be the original copies or copies that have been uh, authenticated as the real copy of the authentic document. Um, here, Real ID will turn state driver's licenses into uniform identity cards linked to a new big database shared by all the states with personal information that could be exploited. It's a national ID system. Um, South Carolina will comply. And we will all have to comply. 
eventually because um, the Department of Homeland Security will absolutely expand those purposes. North Carolina and other states have quietly made changes in recent years to comply. That's what your governments are doing to you, California. I think it was the Friday before Christmas. They started complying with the Real ID Act. Bring in your papers. Driver's records. It will turn driver's records into an online database shared with the motor vehicle agencies of other states. It will have a barcode on the back that contains all of the personal detail, details listed on the front. You might have to start swiping your card when you enter a government building, cash a check, pick up a prescription. Uh, well, <clears throat> that's the way we roll here now in Nazi America.